welcome to Bulgaria. That's the message number two ranked IBF fighter Kubrat Pulev is sending to his prospective opponent, third ranked American Jarrell Miller. So Pulev, in a brief statement on his website, says, I'm happy to welcome Jarrell Big Baby Miller to Bulgaria. It will be an opportunity to showcase this exciting heavyweight matchup between us in front of grateful boxing fans. And the context behind this post, it's a purse bid that was held this week to determine who would have promotional control of the fight. An outfit called Epic Sports and Entertainment, which is headed by a Bulgarian, Ivalo Gotsev, won the bid with more than $2.1 million bid. So the split's 75 to 25 in Pulev's favour. Pulev pockets are just over 1.5 mil and Miller a career high payday of 500k. And it was always likely that Epic was going to bid for this fight when they'd swooped in previously from nowhere to win the previously scheduled Dillian White vs Kubrat Pulev final eliminator. Obviously that one never went ahead so they've had to go down and they've made this eliminator instead. And you can see on screen here the other bidder was Pulev's promoter Sauerland, so just over a million dollars. Curiously, no bids from Miller's team. So you had the outsider Epic Sports more than double Sauerland's bid, winning with $2.1 million. Epic Sports' boss, Ivalo Gotsev, he's told at BoxingScene.com, Miller's promoter told the IBF that they wanted the fight and that Miller was available. Contracts have been sent and it's time for this battle to take place on September the 1st in Sofia, the capital of Bulgaria. There is so much at stake, this bout will determine the mandatory challenger for the champion Anthony Joshua. Bulgaria is a land of beauty with great hospitality. So Gotsev continues, The red carpet will be laid out for Miller like he has never seen before, and he and his team will be welcomed with open arms. Since we won the purse bid, we've been in regular contact with Jarrell's promoters, Salita Promotions, and Greg Cohen Promotions. We explored them doing the event here in the US, but Miller is apparently not yet a big enough draw to interest the major US boxing networks, and they have all turned down doing the fight here, which is why we are taking it to Europe, where Kubrat is a huge celebrity and draw. All that is left is for Miller to sign. So judging by these comments, um, Miller, he seems to be available, potentially willing, and he's got a contract in front of him now to consider. Question is now, you know, like Dillian White, is he going to sign? Does he want to travel to Bulgaria? But then on the other side of the coin, does he have any better options available to him? He doesn't have a powerhouse of a promoter like Eddie Hearn behind him. His promoters, Dimitri Salita and Greg Cohen, I mean, obviously, Hearn was able to uh, organize a fight with Joseph Parker at short notice for Dillian White. So in terms of does Miller have any better options available to him? Probably not. And you may have actually seen him post to Instagram telling Deontay Wilder to go eat goat nuts and that he is next to face Joshua. But the reality is he's not. This is more hype, more bluster. Joshua is facing Alexander Povetkin, his own WBA mandatory. And the reality is, if Miller doesn't sign now to face Pulev, he's going to get dropped from the IBF rankings, just like Dillian White did. And then chuck in as well, it's a career high payday, just over 500k. And from where I can sort of, you know, where I'm sitting and from what I can see, there are no other big money fights on the horizon for Jarrell Miller. It would appear... He's got but little option to take this fight. And I think he does stand a good chance of actually beating Pulev. So, you know, you wait up, career high payday, not a lot else out there for him at the minute. And he, he's got a good shot of beating Pulev, even in Bulgaria. It was also interesting that Gotsev said, and it was this was almost like a bit of a sneak diss, that the American networks had rejected the fight on the basis of Miller's lack of star power, that he wasn't to draw. I'm sure that's a bit of an ego blow for Miller and not the news that he and his team want to hear. But it's a reminder that I, I think actually that Miller's got more work to do and not with his mouth. He can't just talk his way onto the big stage. He's going to have to earn it in the ring. And from first glance, this challenge of Kubrat Pulev, it represents the toughest challenge of Miller's career to date. 
and he's got every chance and opportunity to look good and you know potentially get a win here so I'm hoping he doesn't lose his pen and that we do have another big fight to look forward to in the next couple of months and obviously Pulev he's been on the shelf for what more than 12 months now he needs to see some ring action because you know 12 months no fights and at this sort of level that's no good and he's 37 now I mean, we don't know what he's got left in the tank, but he seems up for this challenge. He's going to be fighting at home by the looks of it. It'll be a good fight if they can get it done. What do you make of it all? Drop a comment loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter, boxing underscore squared. I'm out.